Head, shoulders, knees, and toes is where you should check for ticks after a day outside, and that's because they could be carrying a disease like Lyme. Now, Krista Cole spoke with a tick educator about a research project to potentially reduce disease in ticks. Hey there, Dan. This fall, researchers are choosing the areas in central New York where they will do tick drags. And I'd never heard of a tick drag before, so Harold Nugent from Cornell Cooperative Extension showed me how it's done. This fall, researchers will be laying the groundwork for a new study. These type of edge habitats are good places to look for ticks because ticks like to get up a little bit higher. That's where they're sitting and waiting for uh, animals, people to walk by take uh, your drag laid out flat and then you're gonna walk a little ways uh, anywhere from 10 feet to uh, 30 feet. Tick drags will be how ticks are captured for testing. Harold Nugent is a tick educator with Onondaga County Cornell Cooperative Extension. Look around see if there's any ticks. There's none on here right now. We would just grab them and then usually we have a test tube some type of vial to put them in store them uh, for testing purposes later on. Over the next five years, vaccinated bait will be left out for rodents like squirrels and chipmunks. Testing the ticks will determine if the vaccinated bait was effective. This is Paul Curtis, a wildlife science professor at Cornell University. We're hoping that the prevalence of Lyme disease and ticks that bite those rodents will also go down, and that's what we're going to be evaluating. The study is funded by a federal grant from the Center of Disease Control. Oh, there's one taking care of testing, materials, and staff time. Yeah, I think that's an adult female. Tick-borne diseases have been on the increase over the last couple of decades, and so this is becoming a very important issue to try to mitigate uh, risk associated with these tick-borne diseases. According to the State Department of Health, more than 7,000 Lyme disease cases are reported every year, the highest tick-borne disease in New York. There are times of highest activity, but it is something that people need to be aware of at all times of the year. If the weather is nice, then there is a chance they may run into ticks. New York, Connecticut, Pennsylvania, and Ohio are doing this research in the coming years. I'll just walk this way first. We'll see, see if we find anything. If you want to do a tick drag on your own property to see how many ticks are living near your home, all you need is some PVC pipe, a rope, and some white fabric. Dan? Yeah, I, you know, Crystal, speaking of that, how can people get, invo get involved in this research? Well, they are looking for access to property in central New York with around one to two acres, a wooded backyard, and evidence of frequent deer. So interested property owners can contact Harold Nugent, HN343, at cornell.edu. All right, Crystal, thank you. A lot of great information there. Thank you so much.